Okay, my name is Andrei Silex. I'm from uh, company Agio. Uh, I'm more than 20 years in the surveying uh, industry, and uh, for the from 2006, I'm 2016. Sorry, we are working with Yellowscan. Uh, we start. Uh, like a surveyors, and now we are distributors uh, in the Baltic and the region we have. So today I'm gonna uh, tell you a little bit different volume calculation. Uh, it's about not when you are trying to. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Ah, speak louder. Okay. <coughs> Uh, so it's not about uh, 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 just uh, you compare LiDAR with LiDAR or LiDAR with photogrammetry. It's all about when you get the data, for example, uh, from the previous century, from the 20th century, when it was on the paper. So and then you have the uh, high-end technology like uh, LiDAR, and you need to compare b before, and then you need to calculate as well. And uh, this presentation is, as you can see, what we have. We have the uh, task for the uh, volume calculation. You see this old map. It's a very old map. Uh, this is the location of the quarry. We need to calculate. And what we need to do as well, we need to uh, calculate the volume, amount of volume in the quarry. Uh, just because the, this quarry was closed, and then they want to open it once again and to understand how many minerals are there. And um, so what we have from the, uh, from, the, from the government, OK, we have the Quarry Land Border Plan, cadaster. So it's really nice that it was in coordinates. So it was measured before. And we have this land cadaster. Uh, everything is good. It's in coordinates. Next, we have the topographic map, uh, 1999, as you can see. Uh, so it was only on the paper. So we don't have we, we don't have any uh, digital uh, data before because something happened with the uh, the guy who was making this topographic map, and that's why we have only on the paper. Yes, it's okay. So next, also we have the quarry. Uh, Research. So I was always wondering how the geological research is working. So sometimes I just see, as you can see, be uh, uh, we have something here, but I don't know why they decided to choose like this. You know, this cut. So this is for me something uh, something new. So when you have kind of uh, sand or maybe different kind of sand uh, in in the places when you don't have a drill it. So maybe someone of you are geological and you can explain it why you did it, why you do so. So what we have now? So from this, we need to make a digital map to make a, a cal the volume calculation. So what we have? We have a base station. We have a, a, as well a rover, a GNSS rover. We have a yellow scan UV LiDAR. So you can choose any of the yellow, U, yellow scan LiDAR. So it's, it's, it's not a problem. So it's not obligatory. For example, the survey, you can choose the Explorer and the any. And of course, we have the TerraSolid, the point cloud software, uh, just to uh, process the data. Um, so let's start with uh, verification of the provided information. So we need to check before if uh, the data we received are OK and uh, we can work with them, or we need to do something else. So first, we have the uh, registered quarry land boundary plan. So it's very nice. We have coordinates. We will use them. I will show you how. And we also have the coordinates of our uh, uh, border points. So it's uh, x, y. Not Z, because we don't have the cadastro in 3D. We have only X, Y. So it's uh, also very good for us in the beginning. Uh, next, we check the topographic map. As you can see uh, in the previous uh, uh, slide, uh, this is the 208.6 point, and uh, this is the same here. So, so it's on my uh, language. It's, uh, it's a border point. Uh, with location, so I can use this, like, uh, uh, for example, um, to 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 put this uh, scanned document uh, picture. I can put it on the coordinates by using the uh, software. Uh, I will show you 
how it goes. So next I'm looking at the uh, query geological research, of course. I needed uh, to understand uh, what kind of sand and the soil uh, is under the ground. So uh, I checked also every these, uh, uh, as you can see, the drills, the holes, and I check if it goes with the same like I have in a uh, topographic map. So it's OK. We can uh, start to work. And uh, as you can see, uh, the integration of provided information. So we need to put uh, in the right coordinate system, in the right uh, Z coordinate, uh, our topographic map, because we are going to start to work from the this uh, uh, paper list and get the uh, 3D model for calculation. So as you can see, as I told you before, we had we had used uh, the boundary plan uh, just to uh, uh, attach, as you can see on this yellow line, uh, all these boundaries. And of course, in Bentley MicroStation, you can use it easily. You just attach the pictures, image, and use uh, a feature like a warp tool. And you can use any align simultaneously to find any you need. So we used. Fine, because we didn't know if the plan is rotated during the scanning and, and stuff like this. So uh, after we checked uh, also the length of the between the uh, between the the points, so it was approximately 10 centimeters accuracy only. But sorry, it's a paper. We tried our best, of course. Uh, next, what we have uh, uh, for the Z altitude, uh, we used to find a stone. Here is the stone with a mark on it. So we went to the GNSI station, just take a measurement, and all these, uh, as you can see, uh, the altitude, the Z coordinate was uh, placed on the right uh, on the right position. Uh, but uh, what is uh, very interesting when you're trying to work with a topographic map with not a LiDAR data or data or um, kind of photogrammetry data, you see this boundary, this line. So you have point here, you point here and there. And after if you get these points uh, to your software, for example, to Telesolid, and ask them to make a, a DTM, so you will receive like this uh, shape like, you know, uh, uh, just straight lines, straight triangulation. So what you need to do, you need to also to add uh, between these points, like these boundaries go, you need to interpolate the points of uh, extra points. So then you have much more than, than at least much dense point cloud uh, of this uh, project. And then it look much better. And uh, you have these curves not the straight lines. And uh, during the calculation, if you have, for example, this one, the project is not so big. It's only maybe two hectares only. But if you have 10 or 100 hectares, so it it's, it's makes sense. Uh, so next, the best part we used is was the using the yellow scan. So it's very easy. You already listening to previous also uh, guys who was working with the lidar, and uh, so it's it's it was fun. You just press the button, the yellow button. Am I correct? <laughs> yes, the yellow button, and so you do your acquisition. Uh, in this uh, project, we used, as you can see, the grid plan. And I can tell you uh, that we used the first version of the mapper on this project. So my pictures are, of course, from today. But uh, in real fact, uh, this was taken by the first mapper. And you can see the accuracy, even if uh, uh, in technical specification, we had a different, you know, it was 10 and 15 centimeters, I remember. Uh, but you can see the, the real uh, output from the TerraSolid while using uh, the base station and uh, um, and uh, <coughs> and uh, and the uh, rover, so it's uh, pretty good results. And uh, so next we can easily use uh, this data for uh, data for the calculation. As you can see, uh, yellow scan UAV data processing. So now we have the yellow scan cloud station. But before, we used uh, QG, Q, quantum uh, QGIS. Yes, it was QGIS. 
Uh, and the DTM of the point cloud of the also is very good and nice, so it's smooth. So it's uh, it's all about the precision as well. So everything is good, and we also uh, need to make the simple topographic topographic map uh, in scale one to five hundred, and you can see uh, how it's easy and fast it was able to do. Uh, so next. Calculation of the remaining minerals reserves, what we have now. After all this pre data preparation, we are good with the old data, we're good with uh, LiDAR data, and so we are ready to calculate, I think. And uh, we, uh, this one uh, table is the XYZ of the, uh, the old data from 1999. So we use all this uh, DTM, and uh, as you can see, we were able to show uh, the contour lines of 1999 year, uh, top uh, soil layer thickness. So uh, also with the LiDAR, it's much easier to understand this, uh, the soil. Uh, it's not like, you know, uh, we are working with this um, geological data, and you see the straight line from point to point, but in real life, you have the soil, it's not coming like a straight, it's not an asphalt, it's not a road, it's a, it's, a, it's a real quarry. And then all the information you have, you need also to, uh, to, to use the LiDAR data to be as much precise as you can. Uh, so we also had the sand bottom layer. That you can see um, that the, it was easy to produce with TerraSolid and the data we have. Next, we have the thickness of excavation sand. So all the data we can provide just, uh, as you can see on the left side, the horizontal cross-section from the uh, these um, geological uh, holes. And we also reproduce the new, uh, new view of uh, uh, cross-section. So, this is the conclusion, and uh, what we have uh, in the total remaining volume was 23,000 uh, cubic meters, as you can see, and uh, we did it project. So the paperwork was two months, and the real work was, was one week. So the paperwork, uh, to, to you, you, you just can't imagine how it's uh, hard just to uh, register the data, because we needed to provide and uh, tell L, tell this uh, the, what how we did it. You know, it was approximately ten papers of uh, each our movement. Why we use lidar? Why how we make this the precision? This and that. So it was, it was terrible. Just but we did it. We get the money and we're happy. So this is all. Thank you very much.